When it comes to oddities on the internet, we've seen a lot of things that can easily be explained. But sometimes we find things that are not so easy to take apart. This is where I keep the mysteries that refuse to be solved. Welcome to the Nightmind Case Files. One of my favorite aspects of seeing different takes on internet horror is finding unique approaches used in storytelling. In this field, we have the ability to use a lot of mixed media to accomplish the task of engaging an audience and delivering an experience. Usually, these ventures have a clear beginning, middle, and end. They take us on board for a complete journey. But some things defy sense and withhold meaning, even from the start. They appear with little or no sound, and the author is nowhere to be seen. Occasionally, there's no meaning to be found either, no rhyme or reason, and we're left with more questions than answers. As far as unsolved cases go, found on the tape has really earned its place in my files. This mystery takes us back to July of 2011 for an odd video upload on YouTube titled simply Clip94.mp4. A series of clips play involving the winding of a tape and a group of women in an elevator having their picture taken. There's a fairly heavy amount of distortion and much of the video is in black and white. We catch sight of another woman who looks up at a stairway to see the face of a dead person, their head crushed between bars on the railing, blood on the wall molding and their eyes completely blacked out. The video ends as quickly as it started with the same shot from its beginning, a person outside viewed from the waist down and behind them. The image finishes with a shot of the VHS player and the standard image for a tape stopping. No description had been made for the video, and the only tag was the name, Clip94. Info on the channel itself isn't available. Nothing in the About tab except for the date joined, which is the same as the original upload. There are plenty of videos like this online, trying to be as mysterious as possible while uploading creepy footage cut from several sources. But what really makes this channel stand out comes from the next upload, Clip95. Again, we open with someone standing around but move on to a man who seems unaware he's being filmed. A shot of the outside is interrupted by the appearance of a kind of code wheel with a selector flashing all around highlighting combinations of letters and numbers. We witness a girl with eyes and mouth blacked out, an odd creature with no arms and the man from earlier again, still unaware he's being filmed before the tape stops. Didn't take long for viewers to interpret the code wheel and decipher a hexadecimal string. Breaking it down led to a link from MegaUpload.com containing a map file for the game Half-Life 2. Accessing the map put those with the power to view it in the corner of a room with concrete walls and kept them trapped there, gaze pointed at a hole in the floor. The appearance of the room seems to suggest that it was lived in. A mattress, empty food containers, a metal tub that could hold water for drinking or bathing, and a jug nearby that might have been for similar use. For as long as the downloader continued to keep the screen active, they would hear what's known as a shepherd tone, a scaling set of notes that create the illusion of music descending in pitch forever, continuously lowering past the point of it being possible and never stopping. If a downloader had enough knowledge of the language used to program the map, they could disable the function keeping them trapped in the corner and move around the room. Trying to leave through the one door available was unwise. Their disobedience to the intention of the room resulted in a jump scare of the face seen in the first video, crushed between the bars of the stairway. No one could make sense of these videos or the map that was provided. Help didn't come from the uploader for found on the tape even when they posted in text form on the channel shortly after releasing Clip95. A message was left informing viewers that any source outside of the channel was to be ignored, but the statement was cut off by a new hex code. Decoding this revealed an email account for found on the tape and a bit of file size information. If an email was sent to the address given, there would be an automatic reply that read, I'm stuck four times, followed by another mega upload link for a new downloadable map. This map put players inside a series of ventilation shafts with a few items like bottles and soda cans lettered inside. A repetitive, atmospheric sound played as downloaders navigated the vents. Heading down a path with what appeared to be a hatch at the end triggered a bad event as players realized they couldn't interact with it, and they were forced to turn around, revealing a cave-in further down the vents as the whole system shook, the music grew in volume, and a charred black body with no arms appeared, making the game crash. Other players realized there was a way out. You had to ignore the escape hatch trick and keep hiding whenever there was any sign of a cave-in coming. Eventually, players would find one dead end where the floor and walls were streaked in blood, and the shaft led to a long fall. Winning involved dropping over the edge, plummeting to a player's death and hearing the volume rise before a crashing sound echoed out. The screen went white and a more peaceful tone was heard than the one before it. 
Death was the solution for players trapped in the ventilation shafts, just like it was for whoever had bled out on the metal before taking the plunge themselves. Clip 84 followed shortly after on the YouTube channel. This video holds an exception to the rule of black and white footage as we open with someone walking through a tunnel outside with some color treatment on the footage. We're then back to the black and white, seeing what looks like it would be a rocket if it weren't for a liquid flowing from the top. We're shown footage of someone navigating a tight space underground with piping and equipment, followed by another shot of the object from before. Symbols flash by, and we see a map of what seems to be an Earth Tunnel Complex. Before the screen cuts to the signature blue frame of a VHS tape stopping, we catch sight of a figure standing outside, cast in shadow at the end of the same tunnel from the start of the video. Unlike the previous two, this video seems to contain clips that relate to each other, all pointing to a theme of tunnels and being underground. This makes sense according to the map that was delivered before this upload. The object that resembles a rocket and the code that flashes alongside it are the odd pieces in this collection, and to this day, the code is unsolved. Around the same time this video was uploaded, 10 players who had emailed found on the tape received a message containing the link for map 3. Once again, they were put inside of a tunnel system, but now with enough room to stand up and move quickly. Certain paths were blocked by objects while others were dead ends, and a hatch in the floor allowed movement beyond the opening position into the building below. This led to a room that was identical to the one from the first map, now with more objects inside and the door blocked with boxes. Just beyond this door, a hole in a brick wall led to a new ventilation shaft system with a streak of blood at the entrance. Players could enter, follow its path, and hear a scream as their view went black, falling to their death. A link to one final map was delivered in the form of binary code posted to the channel. Players seemed to pick up where they left off, resurrected after their fall so they could crawl around in the vents again, searching for a way out. This series of events extended in a greater maze than the previous one, letting those who entered wander around for much longer than expected. Eventually, the sight of some cardboard boxes blocking an entrance led to a way forward. Or not, as a skull and crossbones painted on the wall before a drop appeared. This fall wasn't fatal, but did lead down a path littered with human bones. The music grew more intense, and the sounds of dripping liquid could be heard as players ventured forward. Apart from its appearance, the path became similar to the one before it, stretching on further than players thought with several turns and dead ends. An uphill portion into a tunnel with a severely burned body signaled the start of a new area where more human remains could be found, and blood could be seen painted on all of the walls. Once more, a major drop was presented to players, given no choice but to fall as far down as it could go. They entered a flooded area, given only a flashlight to see and had to navigate boxes and corpses until an earth-shaking monster came after them, turning corners and making it clear it was coming closer until finally catching the player and crashing the game. The uploader behind found on the tape gave nothing else to followers after this besides sharing a video from a player on how to beat the second map. There have been no developments since 2011. The code from the third video hasn't been deciphered, no other maps or videos have been found or hinted at, and no rhyme or reason has been made of this event. As far as internet mysteries go, this one packs a lot of strange content, but gives very little to help with interpretation. We know this was a type of game and series, and there must have been some sort of story, but beyond receiving messages from a person trapped in a building with a monster, we know almost nothing. No author revealed, no motive presented, no meaning exposed. The only major lead we have lies in possibly deciphering the code left in the final video. I'm going to be posting an image catching all of the frames in their succession on my Tumblr, and I'll put the link in this video's description. If you recognize what alphabet is being used, you might be able to make the breakthrough needed to move this investigation forward. As for what we're left with after this experience, I've got to hand it to whoever plotted this out and built it. There are a lot of videos like those by Found on the Tape Online, using clips you can't find a source to, seemingly all thrown together and pulverized with a few distortion effects for the sole purpose of being creepy. But none of them have been as inventive as the puppeteer behind this experience, using videos as a jumping point to bring viewers into an immersive gameplay experience that added to the story. I've only ever seen this used once in Everyman Hybrid, and that was for a Minecraft map. The work put in for this game takes the idea to brand new heights and I can only imagine how much better it could have gotten, and how many things like it we can actually achieve now with so much support for modified games and downloads available. Found on the tape is a mystery, but also an inspiration. Internet storytelling gives us so much power to use mixed media in brand new ways that are highly inventive, providing different layers of experience, character perspective, and meaning. Even if the answers to what this project means and the motives behind it are lost, I'm very glad the records of it have all been found. I hope you've enjoyed this more obscure case in my files.
Let me know what you think in the comments below, and click the like button if you found this trip into the darker part of the web worth your time. Subscribe for more coverage of horror, mystery, and oddities online. A major thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon who helped make this video and all others from this point possible by giving me the power to operate Nightmind full time, while also working towards empowering new creators and projects in our field. Thanks again for joining me in the dark this evening. Once more, I'm Nick Nocturne, and like a monster following you through a metal maze of terrors, I'll be seeing you again real soon. Sleep tight.